It's uh, Greg Evert uh, from Starling Gear, uh, leather uh, knife pouch. Really nice pouch. Uh, ten years ago, Greg made about a dozen of these for Mick. And Mick married him to the dozen or so knives like this that he made. Uh, this is an all Damascus mixed rider custom. It's not so uncommon. It's still pretty rare, but it's not uh, unheard of. Except all Damascus included an all Damascus clip and the Damascus for the handle and clip were made from a single piece of uh, a single bar of Damascus. It's all made from the same bar. On this one, the blade is a beautiful mixed rider cobalt Damascus. The scales, <laughs> you just can't, uh, you can't beat these. Um, you can see the light reflecting. That'll give you a pretty good idea just how deeply polished the, uh, these handles are. They are, in fact, very slippery to the touch, but with mixed knives, there's so many sharp edges, uh, sharp enough to catch, not sharp enough to cut, but sharp enough to catch, um, the knife is not at all slippery. You're never worried that uh, you're going to drop it. Like you've seen uh, all zirconium, which is some of my favorite too, uh, polished zirconium in a, uh, a candy bar style with no texture and, and those become a little bit slippery. They're exceptional collectibles, but they're a little tougher to handle. Same with the uh, ivory. This is, uh, this one is polished just short of glass-like. That's uh, to the touch. It feels like it could be, uh, <laughs> it could be glass. Anyway, it is exceptionally polished, uh, but it's not slippery. Okay, so let's go over the knife a little bit. I'm going to shut up and just uh, show it off. Uh, before I do, this is a stainless Damascus blade, and Mick made all the Damascus on this knife, and probably every knife he's made is his Damascus. The action's exceptional. It's uh, smooth as anything. Lockup is bank fault. Lock release is easy. Let's see if I can show you that. Here it comes. <laughs> ah, there it is. This is definitely one of those pieces that would be top shelf in any collection. I don't care whose collection it is. It's a, a maker's best. Um, Mix made a lot of knives equally good to this. Because Mick keeps changing the style and keeps improving and does everything that uh, his collectors uh, appreciate. This knife, though, would compete with anything he's done, period, as far as uh, representing Mick. All right. Five minutes is about all you guys will put up with on uh, a single piece. Hope you enjoyed it.